tired of these? In this video, I'm going to show you how to carry without any pants. Now, I don't know about you ladies out there, but as a guy, one of the best feelings in the world is coming home after a long day, taking off your pants, and letting the boys free. There's just something so liberating about taking off your pants and lounging around in your underwear. But what do you do when you want to go out for a short amount of time? Say you want to run to the grocery store for a few ingredients, walk your dog around the neighborhood, or are heading to the gym? As much as I would love to show up to my local grocery store wearing nothing but my underwear and a war belt, I would probably be banned from the store, arrested, and charged for public indecency and open carrying a firearm. So what are my options then? For someone like me who almost always looks like I'm going to the gym, my wardrobe mainly consists of shorts and joggers. Occasionally I'll put on pants to impress, but 99% of the time I feel most comfortable in a t-shirt and a pair of joggers. Now I'm obviously not the only one who's had this problem because there are a ton of products out there specifically designed for carrying without wearing any pants. The very first holster I actually bought was the Remora Sticky Holster while waiting for my custom Kydex holster to come in. This holster is literally designed for the gym shorts 24-7 crowd. However, one of the most frustrating things about this holster is that it doesn't stay put when I need it to. I carry appendix, so I find that whenever I'm sitting and standing back up, the holster tends to shift around and I have to constantly adjust it to get it right where I want it. The concealability and reliability are great, but having to constantly adjust my shirt and adjust my shorts so that the gun sits perfectly without printing makes me look like a new permit holder. There's also the belly band which is very popular especially amongst women. You can wear it under any kind of clothing but my biggest gripe with the belly band is that it is made of neoprene. I want my gun to be as secure as possible and having a kydex holster makes it basically foolproof in terms of trigger coverage and retention. I think the belly band is a fantastic product and a lot of runners and cyclists actually wear belly bands while they're running or cycling. If you're a fairly active person the belly band might be a great option for you. So what if you don't want to buy a brand new holster? There's a product on the market out there called the Ulti Clip which replaces the clips that are already on your holster. The Ulti Clip works by clipping onto your pants or your shorts and stops the holster from falling out when you draw. Now there are a few pros and cons to this. The main benefit of this is that you get to use the holster that you spent a pretty penny on. However for someone like me who carries an appendix rig there's a lot of weight that needs to be held up. I carry a shield with a Hive plus two mag extension with a spare mag that also has the plus two extension giving me a total of 21 rounds that's a lot of weight for just simple clips to carry shoot my shorts will sag with just the weight of my phone my keys my wallet and my knife so trusting the weight of my gun on top of all that is not an option for me so what do i do when i want to carry with shorts on i actually got this idea a while back on the conceal carry subreddit and it blew my freaking mind i don't remember who suggested it but thank you and you literally changed my life also if you're interested in a community based around concealed carry tips, laws, gear, and everything concealed carry, there's a link to the subreddit in the description below. If you carry a gun, you probably already have one of these and one of these. That's it. All you have to do is put your belt under your shorts, clip your holster in, and you're good to go. Seriously though, I found that this method of carrying is perfect for my way of life. It keeps the holster in the same exact position it would be if I were wearing pants, which makes my draw consistent every single time. Whether I'm at the range training with pants on or I'm going to the grocery store with shorts on, my draw will always stay consistent and I know exactly where my gun is at all times. Now just like the other options I mentioned, this method of carrying has its pros and cons. The main benefit of carrying this way is that your draw stays consistent. In addition, simply using what you have will save 
save you a few bucks. On the flip side, there's one main drawback to carrying this weight, and that's the comfort. Normally, when you carry with pants on, you have your pants to act as a barrier between your skin and the belt itself. However, since you're putting your belt below your shorts, the belt is coming in direct contact with your skin, and it can cause it to chafe and cause discomfort over time. I found this especially true, especially if you're going to sit for a long period of time. Now, this doesn't bother me too much because if I'm putting on gym shorts, I'm probably not going out for a long time. On top of that, if you live in a hot environment like I do, having the belt directly on your skin can cause you to sweat a little bit more. I highly suggest using a nylon belt for this rather than a leather one because as you start sweating, the leather is going to soak up the sweat, discolor, and become flimsy. In addition, you want a stiff belt for this. Having a stiffer belt will keep the gun from sagging and digging into your pelvis or your groin. With flimsier belts, since the gun is sagging, it can dig into your groin, especially when you're walking around. I do have one more tip for you guys if you decide on carrying this way. This does work best for shorts or joggers that are on the thinner side, but it can work with thicker ones as well. If you need a little bit of extra support, you can actually clip the holster on top of your shorts or your joggers and then onto your belt. This will actually stop your drawstring from retracting back and it'll help you keep your shorts or your joggers as tight as possible. Also, if you're looking for a deeper concealment, you can actually tie your shorts or your joggers over your holster, which allows more of the holster to be below your waist and hidden. Now doing this will inhibit your draw a little bit, but I found that either way, I can still draw consistently. So if you're like me, try this method of carrying and let me know how it goes. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about anything I covered in this video, feel free to leave a comment below. Also, if you have any suggestions on what kind of videos you'd like to see, leave it in the comments below. Again, thanks for watching. Till next time.